Follow me and everything is alright I'll be the one who tuck you in at night And if you wanna leave, I can guarantee You won't find nobody else like Joey D What up everybody? How you doing? It's Joey D and the Stub Bears Beatdown! God bless! How you doing everybody? Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. I hope you guys had a great week. I uh, hope you guys are happy and healthy. And you guys are all, you know, sunshine. You know what I mean? You guys are my sunshine type of guys. And we're one family here. How you doing? Uh, how great was it to see some football on Thursday, huh? Huh? Come on, everybody. Come on. Hey, oh, hey. I mean, it was beautiful, right? Even though it was pre-preseason, pre-preseason uh, football, it was just awesome to see football, and especially Bears football uh, at that. They got the loss. Eh, what are you going to do, right? But it, you know what? Here, we're going to get into the whole game today. We're going to talk about the game, um, and God bless. So let's just kick it off. Bada bing, bada boom. Hey, huh? So the uh, first thing I want to talk about is the quarterback play of uh, Chase Daniels. Uh, Chase is a pro. He's been in the league for years. I think this guy's only actually started, you know, two games, and I think he's one and one uh, in the two games that he started. So he's 500, right? But uh, to be honest with you, uh, you know, Bray actually looked uh, a lot better than him. I, Bray's a big boy. He looked like a beast. Now, remember, though, everybody that was playing on both sides of the ball, the Ravens and the Bears, they had, like, their backup, backup to the backups in there. So, obviously, this what you saw is not a finished product. It's not starters, and it's going to look a whole lot different. I think all you guys know that. You're not in your head. You're like, if you don't know that, Joey, you're a chooch. God bless. But uh, so just saying, Bray looked a lot better. Uh, Bray was actually marching him down the field. Uh, he got him to score. So Bray looked a lot better. Uh, Chase Daniels, eh, you know, he was oxy tots. He was right there, but God bless. You know, I mean, I still love Chase. Who doesn't like Chase, you know? Uh, yeah, God bless. So, but who stuck out for me, to be honest with you, was, uh, I'll give you the guys who actually, you know, basically put my radar up, said, hey, how you doing? This guy looks solid, and you're probably going to make the team, and you're going to probably contribute on Sundays, is what we want, and that's what we saw. Javon Wims, the rookie, the six-round pick out of Georgia, wide receiver, wow, 89 yards, uh, the guy's, what is he, 6'4", the kid? He looked good. Honestly, he looked solid. And he's, I mean, look, he was i uh, he was just taking the ball, pucking out of the air, said, hey, how you doing? He was taking the other guy's lunch money. He looked really good out there. So, uh, Javon Wims. Now, this is crazy, guys, because think about it. You got your alpha dog, Allen Robinson, right? You got the uh, Turbo, Taylor Gabriel. Uh, you have Kevin White. Uh, you got Anthony Miller. Uh, it's Miller time. And now you got Wims? I mean... I'm telling you, when I say that we're going to have the best wide receivers in the league, we're going to have the best dang wide receivers in the league. So uh, if you if the wide receivers are watching this show and you guys are in the, you know, you're watching some tape and some video, you pop this on, you guys are all Pro Bowlers. But you won't be able to go to the Pro Bowl because you're going to be in the Super Bowl. Just saying. But uh, Wibbs, looked, honestly, he looked like an elite guy out there. Even though he was just playing against other guys, you know, uh, but he really looks solid, and I'm looking forward for his uh, development uh, as weeks to come. God bless. So uh, next, actually, Josh Bellamy has been around for a while. Josh looked decent out there. Josh is a good guy. You know, Josh he has a lot of swag. You know, he, he so you know he's going to make the team. And then Tanner Gentry uh, had a touchdown. And honestly, Tanner Gentry is another guy that uh, it, it's a crowd favorite. You know, the, uh, people love him, Tanner Gentry. So I don't know if he's actually... Hopefully he'll make the team, but if not, you know they're going to put him on the practice squad. Uh, he did get the touchdown, and God bless, you know. He's uh, he's Tanner Gentry, you know what I mean, Jelly Bean? So uh, I like that. God bless, Tanner. How you doing? You're watching. How you doing? I say hi. Tell uh, the family I said hello. God bless. I'll send you cannoli. But uh, on defense now, on the defense, because honestly, that was all about the offense. Uh, a little negative thing that I see, I want to talk about negative things, but I'm just saying that offensive line, a little bit was a little shaky. I did like to see, though, Eric Cush out there. Cush was back. Cush was at center. Cush was actually snapping the ball, and Cush is a beast with his fat on Friday, but he, he's, I mean, he's healthy. He looked good, but where was Hironis Grasso? That's what I want to know. Where's Grasso? Why wasn't he playing? Was he in? Was he out? I don't know. Uh, I really didn't see him, but, uh, so that just makes me wonder, like, what are you going to do with this guy? You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know, but uh, it was just kind of interesting. But it was nice to see Kush out there.
But some of these other backups, the offensive line, eh, you know what I mean? Maybe they got to go out there and find another free agent uh, for the offensive line to make it a little bit more solid. God bless. But the, I love our starters in our offensive line. I love our starters. I love our starters. So uh, we're going to be fine. We're going to be solid. Like I said, we got Coach Harry uh, H. That's going to make that just that's just going to be a brick wall, that offensive line. Going on defense, uh, Isaiah Irving, linebacker. Man, he, uh, he actually had a penalty. But then he actually got a sack. God bless. So he messed up and he made it right. You know what I mean? But he was flying everywhere. He's got some speed on him. So uh, he looked really good. Uh, this is his second year. I know he's going to make that team. You know he's going to make this squad. But Irving, Irving looks solid out there. I like Irving. You know? Irving Park uh, in Chicago is a very long street. It runs all the way from Elgin all the way to Chicago. So God bless Irving. Irving Park. Irving Park Road. How you doing? So uh, Irving looked good. And then uh, the rookie, uh, Kylie Fitz, uh, another linebacker, he got a sack. He started a little slow. I saw actually a couple plays after the, actually, the, the plays was done, the whistle was blown. He was on the end, just kind of like sitting there like, hey, how you doing? But once he actually got a couple snaps in his belt, uh, he was flying to move around. So he looked good too. So these are two young guys that I like to see on game day contribute. You know what I mean? Put these guys in and out because, honestly, they're fast. That's the one thing about this team. The biggest thing when I went to training camp last weekend down in uh, Bear Bonnet is speed. This team on offense and defense is going to have speed. And what's that saying? Hey, speed kills, right? So we're going to be so quick and so fast. And these young linebackers, man, they're quick. Just getting to that quarterback, hitting that edge, and then pow, boom, done. Sack, game over, Aaron Rodgers. Oh, my God. Cancel Christmas. Uh, also, also on uh, defense, what I liked, I liked uh, B. Nichols. Uh, you know, he's a rookie, actually. <coughs> Excuse me. H2O break because I'm talking. How you doing? Hold on. Mm. That's some high-quality Lake Michigan water, baby. Um, or is it King County? I don't even know where I'm at. So, uh, anyways, B. Nichols, he's a big boy. 6'4", 290. Uh, he's a rookie. He actually got a sack. He's out of Delaware. He looked good, too. Uh, so that's another nice little piece. I mean, here's the thing. When Pace picks these guys in the 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th round, and they become gems, I mean, God bless, right? Pace knows what he's doing. He's doing a good job, I think. God bless Pace. How you doing? Pace, how you been? I'll meet you at Panda Express. So uh, we'll get some orange chicken and some walnut shrimp. So, uh, but... No, honestly, like, B. Nichols looked pretty good. He looked solid. I like that. One other guy I want to talk about on defense is Jonathan Bullard. He actually, uh, he got a sack, but uh, is Bullard going to start the opposite of Akeem Hicks, or is it going to be Roy Robertson Harris? Uh, I think those two guys are going to be fighting it out for that uh, starting end job, uh, you know, the opposite side of Akeem Hicks. Because Akeem Hicks, I mean, he's honestly one of the leaders on that defense, and even in the whole locker room, Hicks is a beast. But, uh, you know, if Bullard can pull it together and get it together, uh, I would love to see that uh, for the guy. Uh, but we need somebody else on that other end rushing and getting pressure to the quarterback on a weekly basis. So is it Bullard or is it Roy Robertson Harris? I told you, when I saw Roy Robertson and Harris, that guy was just like, oh my God, how you doing up there? How's it going? So the guy looks like a beast in a rock, but it's all about, you can look like a beast in a rock, but can you play? So hopefully they can and they will on Sundays. So we'll see. We'll check it out. Uh, so the, the other thing I want to talk about this game, uh, the last thing I want to talk about this game was, and here, at the end of the day they lost, but what I really like about this game was, you always saw pictures of Matt Nagy, right? The camera always went to Matt Nagy, and he looked into it. I mean, he was just zeroed in, penciled in. He had that laser stare like he wants to win. Now, Fox, last year, going back to Fox, Fox is just like, eh. Um, he, he would just, you know, they showed a picture of him, and he was just like, he had that clueless look. His name was like Alicia Silverstone in that movie Clueless, okay? So he just, I don't know. Uh... He looked a little Shotsky, the uh, Fox, but Nagy looks like a football coach. Nagy looks like a coach, a Chicago Bears coach, and he just like he was zeroed in and penciled in. And what I like at the end of that game, uh, we were down actually, and uh, we went for that two-point, uh, you know, conversion to actually win the game. 
And he went for it. And you know what? This is a meaningless game, but I like the aggressiveness that at least he... Obviously, we lost. It's no big deal because it's preseason. Let's get the losses out of our system now because we don't want to see it in a regular season. But at least he took a chance and he was aggressive. That's so anti-Fox. That's so anti-Fox. It's the opposite, you know? Because Fox would never do that. He could have tied it up, but Nagy said, you know what, here, here, right here. This is Italian, guys. I'm teaching you a say Italian right here. This. He said this. Let's go for the win. Let's. So I love that he actually went for it and tried it. So I think, and I know, uh, actually maybe I don't know. My name's Matt Cleo, but we're going to just see a more aggressive offense that we've never seen before with Matt Nagy leading the way. And I love it. I'm excited and I'm proud and I'm happy and I can't wait. I'm like a kid in a candy store. So uh, it's happy, it's coming, and you guys should be pretty uh, pumped up too. Uh, last but not least, I, uh, I want to talk about Brian Urlacher. Uh, if you guys didn't know, and it, it, you probably do know because otherwise you're living under a rock if you're not a Bears fan, that Brian Urlacher was inducted in the Hall of Fame yesterday, uh, got his jacket, had a wonderful speech. Brian Urlacher, uh, middle linebacker. I mean, think about it. What do you think Chicago Bears is? What you think? Defense, you think middle linebackers, right? Bill George, okay? Dick Buckus, God bless. Mike Singletary with the crazy eyes, the samurai. And now Brian Urlacher. So we have the best middle linebackers in all of Chicago, in all of NFL history. History. Nobody has any, not one team. Tell me one team that has better middle linebackers than the Bears have. I, I don't hear anything. I don't hear anything. I just hear crickets. But Brian Urlacher, was the, I mean, he was like, what a Chicago Bear is supposed to do. What he said, actually, is he never put himself before the team, uh, and it was never about him. It was about his teammates and what he did on the field. I hope some of these Bears are watching this show right now, because honestly, just take a page out of Brian Urlacher's book. Serious. The guy's a stand-up guy. He went to work every day with that competitive edge and that nature, and he just wanted to play and get dirty and win. And I hope you guys, you Bears actually, now, these young bucks, do the same thing. Because honestly, it's it's tradition and it's an honor. It's an honor to put on the Bears jersey uh, and go out there on Sundays and compete and be a warrior. So Brian Urlacher, I love you, my man. Uh, you're, you're just what Chicago Bears are all about. You're a stand-up guy. And for that, mwah, salute. I'm going to eat a cannoli today and I'm going to dedicate it to you. That sounds a little creepy. All right, I'm just saying. But, uh, so that's it, Urlacher. God bless. Next week, we're going to talk. I'm still going to talk about the defensive starters who I think are going to start, uh, or like a little depth arm check thing. But I just wanted to talk about this game. It was just nice to see some football for once, right? Uh, I know the Bears are on again Thursday, so I'm going to try to maybe see when the game's over on Thursday, guys. I'm a little tired. I'm a little groggy because I was working all day. I was going to do something right after the show. Uh, you know, the show. The, do something right after the game, but I like I gotta go to bed. God bless. So I'll try to do something Friday, if not next Sunday. Uh, I'll definitely be here from here on out. You'll see my face, my ugly mug, right? I know. <laughs> my my parents got rest their soul. They used to put a stake around my neck just so the dog would play with me. All right. So last before I leave, I just want to say this. Actually, I want to thank uh, my beautiful wife actually for each week uh, helping me out uh, do all this. Uh, She's my editor, production, uh, and uh, camera woman. So I really appreciate you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I love you so much. God bless. Because if th there would be no Bears beat, not if it wasn't for you. How you doing? Hey, hey, hey. So uh, anyways, guys, please keep watching the show. Keep leaving comments. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Tell your neighbor. Tell your neighbor's, uh, you know, uh, long guy. Tell your neighbor's uh, mailman. Let everybody know about this show. I'm just saying. Everybody's watching it. Now it's beautiful. And I love commenting back to you. Uh, like me on the book face page. Find me on the tweet tweet. And like me on the gram with the Insta. Anyways, guys, this is Joey D. And this is The Bears Beat Down. Have a beautiful week and I love you. Mwah. God bless.